Hello guys, my name is Mina from Japan. Today I want to share what I thought yesterday. So yesterday when I read an article about a Hongkuna activity, Agnes Cho for the first time, I hadn't known anything about her before that and I was so interested in her that I tried to know who she is and um, putting her name and on the internet and surprisingly what words appearing next to her was her appearance. Well, it is understandable that uh, when I first saw uh, the article uh, which had a small image of her appearance and seeing that I thought that she would be popular here in Japan because she looks like a Japanese female singer, an idol or actress so I thought that she would be popular here and it was right because she had been already popular here often appealing on Japanese um, interviews, news interviews and on top of that, of that she um, sometimes left her comment on her Twitter or other social media in Japanese Oh, so by the way, she can speak Japanese very well, so which helps her to be popular in this country and get a lot of support. I, I myself think uh, that you know being cured is a strong point, and it is very you know like if a person is blessed with good appearance, having a good appearance, so that's good for them to try to get um, people's attention and get more support, right? Uh, however, what I was ashamed of uh, was that uh, word which also appeared next to her name was how big her breast is. You know, many Japanese people are uh, uh, interested in her breast size rather than what she has been doing and yeah, personally, I you know, being Japanese, I uh, I don't want to see such like PLC words next to her name because um, I'm very like proud of herself, and I think that you know I'm very impressed by her bravery. There, uh, she's young, you know, she has been devoted herself to doing activities to try to get her country, Hong Kong, not under the control of China, right? And yes, it's, you know, I want to upload her activity. However, many people are interested in, you know, her appearance or her breast size, which has nothing to do with what she has been doing. And this is not the first time for me to see, you know, these filthy words next to um, a famous people's name. Well, uh, when I tried to know Princess Mako, the first daughter of the current emperor's younger brother, um, yeah, the same words, how big her breast ears also popped up. And yes, it's, you know, it's very humiliating because, you know, instead of what they have been doing or who they are, why so many Japanese people are interested in, you know? like uh, people's uh, like women's appearances. I know that for most of them, like breast, breast is kind of uh, the symbol of mentality for many Japanese people. Uh, you know, many people want to, you know, uh, want to get uh, big breasts rather than, rather than smaller ones. Well, of course, it depends on the individual. Uh, while when I try to know Agnes Cho in English, no such filthy word appeared next to her name. So I wonder why you know so many people in my country are interested in like uh, her breast size rather than uh, who she is, or what she has been doing. Okay, so if you don't understand what I said, maybe uh, it is hard for me to understand what um, I've been saying in this video. So let's say, if you don't know, you didn't know anything about Barack Obama, and you try to know who he 
years um, putting his name on the internet and what would you think if the world the words appearing next to him is how big his penis is are you happy to see that uh, you know it's very you know dishonest and rude i think okay so thank you for watching this video and i'd like to share your opinions above and stay safe and see you guys in the next one bye bye